biodiesel. Diesel fuel made from fats and oils like soybean, or corn, or chicken fat. Biodiesel was once considered a novelty fuel. That's far from the case now. In fact, you're probably using biodiesel right now and don't even know it. Fuel suppliers can blend up to 5% biodiesel with your current diesel fuel and they don't have to label it. Biodiesel burns like diesel fuel in an engine, which is why it's approved to use as a diesel fuel. But it doesn't behave exactly the same as diesel fuel when you store it. Because biodiesel is made from chemically converted fats and oils, it is not as stable over time as regular diesel is, even less stable than the ultra-low sulfur diesel that forms sludge more easily itself. And when biodiesel gets exposed to air, light, water, and certain kinds of metals, its storage life goes way down. The result? The formation of sludge dropout from biodiesel that wrecks the fuel quality and forms performance-robbing deposits and injectors and combustion chambers. The other big problem to anticipate with biodiesel in storage is how much bacteria, mold, and fungus love it. Add in a little water buildup in the storage tank, and you've got the perfect breeding ground for fuel microbes. Microbes love biodiesel, even more than they love regular stored diesel. And since biodiesel is less stable than diesel anyway, the acids and byproducts given off by these microbes wreck diesel fuel quality even faster. These facts point to the importance of making sure your biodiesel is protected by treating it with stabilizers and biocides. Research shows that adding a good stabilizer in biodiesel blends when they are fresh can double or triple their storage life. And it's a well-known fact that biocides are the only thing that will kill and prevent microbes from growing in fuel. These options are a cost-effective way to ensure your stored biodiesel fuel is fresh and ready whenever you need it.